Okay, this video is about the supposed rotation of the Earth, and I'm going to present great evidence to debunk the rotation right here in this video. Okay, so about a couple years ago, I challenged pilots to fly from the North Pole, and I put out a video. Here it is. So this is a new video, a little more updated. So it's a new challenge. I challenge all pilots to go to the North Pole and fly to the equator fixed to the background stars. The pilot would very soon see the ground rotating from west to east under the aircraft and would be met with the rotating attached air. Of course, the air is attached to the ground. That, that's how we live. But they've hijacked our flat stationary reality and call it a spinning ball. But we're going to debunk that right here with this video. Okay, so that wall of attached air is going to slam the aircraft in the form of a wall of wind. And this debunks the spinning space ball right here, because no such thing ever occurs. You might say, well, yeah, but nobody navigates by the stars. Well, okay, I'll deal with that in a second. So I had put this challenge out a couple or so years ago, but only got Bob saying, that's not how we navigate an airplane, people. That idiot. This will clearly show the absurdity of the spinning space ball. If anyone would actually attempt this or just think this through, as a mental exercise, you'll see the absurdity of saying that we live on a spinning ball. Now, in the history of all aviation, 100 or so years, right? And I'm sure thousands of aircraft have arrived and departed the North Pole, yet not one story of the ground rotating out from under the aircraft from west to east or getting hit with the rotating air. Now, I know, I know, the air rotates with the ground, people, ain't? It's called uh, conservation of angular momentum. The air is rotating with the ground. Yes, but the reason I'm saying go to the, because a lot of times people do uh, say like, you know, if you lift up at the equator, the ground should rotate out from under your thousand miles per hour. Well, no, because uh, if you go with their model, I'm going to beat them at their model. Their model says the atmosphere is rotating with you. So you would just be carried along like being up in an airplane. You know, they like to use that one. At the North Pole, there is no rotation to speak of. All right. So if you take off at the North Pole, you could be fixed right away to the background stars. And then if you head down to the equator, fixed to the stars, you would have to see the Earth rotating out from under you, and you'd get hit with ever-increasing massive wind. All right? So, again, I'm sure over the hundreds of years, thousands of pilots have departed the North Pole, and some would have flown on a southwest orientation, which would have lined them up with the fixed stars, even momentarily or forever, how long, an hour, long enough that they would start to get hit. You know, as they're still heading south, they would start to get hit with the rotating atmosphere. Obviously, this has never been reported. No stories like this. And you know why that is? Because the spinning space ball is fake. Fake space is fake! Space is fake! Oh, 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 oh! Space is fake! Can you not see that? Yeah. That's why it's fake. Okay, so I'm going to play this little uh, video I made right here, animation, and uh, we will. I will be doing more on the rotation because I find this to be the easiest way to debunk these people. All right. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Can you not see that?
can you not see that? <laughs>